Hey everyone. In this video I am going to tell you normal symptoms of pregnancy in all trimesters that is 9 months. First symptom every pregnant woman notices, amenorrhea, that is absence of menses. But, it is not the confirmative sign as there are many other reasons to miss menses. Absence of menses with few other symptoms which I am going to tell you further in this video, indicates pregnancy. Spotting of blood may be normal during pregnancy as sometimes there will be slight detachment of placenta which then attaches on its own. If there is bleeding, then it's high time for you to consult your doctor. There are different reasons for bleeding in all trimesters. About which I will discuss in detail in other videos. Second symptom is morning sickness, that is persistent nausea and vomiting. Almost 70% of pregnant women presents with this symptom. Mostly marked in a woman who is pregnant for the first time. Nausea and vomiting appears as soon as missed period and it goes beyond 16 weeks. Initially there might be slight weight loss due to this, then she will gain 1 kg in first trimester, 5 kg in second trimester and 5 kg in third trimester. In total 11 kg gained during pregnancy is normal. Normal nausea and vomiting will not affect the health of mother, if it is, then we call it as hyperemesis gravidarum, which needs a medical care. It's a severe form of nausea and vomiting during pregnancy due to various cause about which I will discuss in other videos. Next symptom is increased frequency of micturition. That is passing urine frequently. It is quite troublesome during 8th to 12th week of pregnancy. It is due to resting of the bulky uterus, on the fundus of the bladder, because of exaggerated antiverted position, of the uterus, and, condition of the bladder mucosa, and also due to change in maternal osmoregulation, causing increased thirst and polyuria that is passing more amount of urine, as the uterus straightens off after 12th week the symptom disappears. Again reappears during third trimester due to enlarged uterus that compresses bladder. Third symptom is breast discomfort, here she has the feeling of fullness and pricking sensation. Well marked in primogravity that is the woman who is pregnant for the first time. Also we can find prominent Montgomery tubercles, secondary areola, prominent veins under skin, then colostrum can be squeezed as early as 12th week of pregnancy. In detail I have already discussed in my previous video about pregnancy. You can check it out later to know in detail about breast changes. Next let's discuss about changes on abdomen. In first trimester slight suprapubic bulge can be appreciated then in second and third trimester there is progressive enlargement of abdomen, about which everyone knows. On 18th week of pregnancy, first fetal movements can be elicited, we call it as quickening. Then there is certain skin changes in abdomen like linea nigra and striae gravidarum about which I have already discussed in previous video. Simply we can call it as stretch marks. Then due to local vascular congestion, bluish discoloration of anterior vaginal wall is visible at about 8th week of pregnancy. Also vaginal walls become smooth and there is profuse non-irritating mucoid discharge at 6th week. Mucoid discharge resembles clear gummy consistency. There is increased pulsation felt through lateral fornices at 8th week called as Osiander's sign. Cervix becomes smooth as early as 6th week which we call as Goodell's sign. Size of uterus at 6th week hen's egg at 8th week cricket ball at 12th week becomes globular. Then I forgot to mention about changes appear on face. We can find pigmentation over forehead and cheek which we call as pregnancy mask or glowing skin. There are still more changes seen during pregnancy at functional level, which I don't think common people are interested to know about. If you want to, then mention in comment box. I will explain in response to number of comments. To summarize, normal symptoms found during pregnancy are, number one absence of menses where the reasons must be ruled out. Number two nausea and vomiting which should not affect the health of mother. Number 3 Increased frequency of urination from 8th to 12th week which then subsides and again in 3rd trimester reappears. Number 4 Breast discomfort with certain skin changes. Pregnancy mask stretch marks bluish discoloration of vagina smooth cervix profuse bland mucus vaginal discharge. Malaise that is generalized weakness hope you got brief idea about normal signs and symptoms of pregnancy. If you like my contents please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can reach you every time I upload new videos. Thank you, see you in next video.